Welcome everyone to Politics Unplugged. I'm Ann Trujillo and you'd think this would be a quiet month for political news. Mm -mm, not this December. The nation's electoral votes are supposedly to uh, be officially cast on Monday, but there are a couple major developments to watch. Now that there are reports that the election process was tarnished with interference from Russia, some electors are asking they be given more information before casting those votes. And two of Colorado's electoral voters are hoping the Supreme Court rules by Monday, allowing them to vote for someone other than the other than Colorado's popular vote winner, Hillary Clinton. Those electors are part of a larger national movement with hopes of upsetting the Electoral College in an effort to keep Donald Trump out of the White House and put someone else in there, maybe, say, another Republican. Well, joining me now to talk about this is Michael Baca, one of Colorado's electors who's been behind the effort to overturn <laughs> Election Day results. Talk on the phone. And, uh, Michael, thank you for talking with us. Um, via Skype. We know you're not a Donald Trump fan. So first, why not just accept the results? So I, I believe that Donald Trump is a method of a threat that is worth crossing party lines to attempt to the Republican. And if we do this, if we put our country above our party, we can still stop Donald Trump from becoming president. All right, Michael, bring us up to date on your your fight. So I believe right now, right now we are in deliberations with other Republicans. And we won't know if we're successful until after we vote on Monday. Uh, if we are, this will get sent to the House of Representatives. Well, they will choose from the top three presidential and vice presidential candidates. And if not, then Donald Trump will finally be president-elect. Are you... I know that two of the nine electors, Polly Baca and Bob Nemanich, are in their own legal fight. What are you expecting to come of that? But that's that's not also your fight, is it? No, I, I did make a conscious decision to not be a plaintiff on those lawsuits. Um, if after the fact that I need to seek re legal recourse, then um, I believe there are attorneys that are prepared to fight on my behalf. Um, but I... I I believe by putting our country above our parties that uh, there'll be no issues in the end. Although Secretary of State Wayne Williams has had some pretty harsh words for all of you who are talking about going rogue. What do you say to that? What do you say um, to him? Threatening me or threatening the electors with felony perjury is a, a very serious uh, and potentially criminal thing that he's doing. Um, that I believe that uh, that is coercion and it is something that I will be making very clear either Monday morning or Monday after we vote. Um, I do intend to have my votes uh, casted, uh, uh, my ballots casted and, and heard as well. Have you decided who you are voting for on Monday? Uh, right now I am still efforting that. Um, I was quite clear the other day that I will not be voting for Secretary Clinton or Tim Kaine. Um, I may be voting for one of those uh, two, um, but right now this is a, a very hour-by-hour uh, hour kind of situation. You are required by law to cast your vote for Hillary Clinton. Uh, you know, we do believe, I still do believe those laws to be unconstitutional, and the pledge that they are revising to make, uh, have a different pledge this year, um, I'm being advised is a, another unconstitutional thing that they are doing. Now, I know on Thursday, the Associated Press said that it had interviewed about 330 electors and found, uh, in their words, little appetite for a revolt. Is it going to happen? Do you think uh, there's a chance? I, I do think there's a chance. I, I think the fact that we're speaking right now shows that there might be a chance. There's at least people are interested right now when in every other election cycle they haven't been. Um, we've raised awareness of the Electoral College, and I... You know, no matter what happens, the outcome on Monday, um, I, I do hope whoever uh, the president of the United States is able to govern our country effectively. Um, and I don't wish anyone to fail, um, but I do believe that Donald Trump is unfit for office. I know some electors have said they've been bombarded by people trying to sway them one way or another. Have have you been? And what have some of the more interesting comments you've received? Um, you know, you know. of course, there's uh, one thing I want to uh, note is that we have never asked uh, or wanted any any reason for people to bombard other electors. We've told them not to do that, and we've advocated for people to not bombard the electors. 
Um, like many uh, electors across the country, I've been inundated with requests, um, with various amounts of death threats, and I, you know, I, I kind of take those in stride, and it comes with the position. Um, you yourself and, have you know, had I, death threats. Yes, I have, but I try not to make those public because I don't think uh, it's important to incite violence like that. So if you had your way, what about this election process would you like to see changed? Um, I would I would like, uh, one, the Trump campaign to stop harassing other electors and threatening their political careers. Um, I, I would like that the states allow the electors to vote their conscience. Um, and if we're, if we're nothing more than just to perform a ministerial task, then why have us at all? Why have 538 individual voices? And so come Monday, when all the electors gathered our 50 state capitals, what's going to happen, Michael? I expect, there's, I expect there to be a large turnout of, of people gathering uh, around their courthouses in a show of support, peaceful support for the electors to vote however they choose. Uh, I, I expect to go in there and uh, cast my ballot for president and vice president of the United States. And then uh, after that, we'll go from there. And we'll see Monday who it is that uh, you cast your ballot for. Yes, ma'am. Michael Baca, thank you so much for talking with us on this edition. Thank you of so much, Ann. Appreciate your time. Stay with us. We'll be right back.